A355 is one of the most intuitive methods to solve a Rubik's Cube, especially for beginners. As the name suggests, it's made of four phases. The first phase is to solve eight pieces at the first layer, all pieces but one corner. The second phase is to solve three edges at the second layer. The third phase is to solve the remaining five edges. And the final phase is to solve the last five corners and hence the whole cube. What makes it special is that you barely need to memorize the algorithms with this method. You solve by thinking. A355 was invented by Ri Ha Xu, Mr. Xu Jiang from Taiwan. He expected that with this method, beginners can solve a cube based on their observation and thinking instead of memorizing many algorithms. On the other hand, some beginners' methods often end with memorizing without the need to understand why. There's no good or bad on that, just that I feel A355 treats Rubik's Cube as a puzzle, rather than some gadgets that you simply just reply algorithms on, like a robot. If you like this idea, pick up your cube and let's get started. There are two concepts you need to know beforehand. The first one is, although a cube is made of many edge pieces and corner pieces, at each stage, only certain pieces matter. For example, in the first phase, we will focus on white pieces only. So sometimes I will use this black cube to indicate the pieces we pay attention to. The second one is the definition of solved. When we say a piece is solved, its color connects with some other solved pieces or center pieces. You may compare with the solved cube as well. For example, this uh, uh, red-white edge and this green edge they are solved because they are on top of the correct centers. This cornered piece is solved, but this one is not. Even though the white is facing up, you may compare with the soft cube or you will see that these colors do not connect. First, hold the cube so that the uh, white center is on the top. In the first phase, uh, we solve pieces with white color except for one corner. We do it by moving them to the position they belong to at this to this uh, top layer. Let's solve the four edges first. Find an edge piece with white color and then move it to the top in a way that the white is facing up. And then look at its side color and align with its center color. So we turn the top, rotate. Now these two connect. That means this edge piece is solved. When we move a white edge to the top, um, if the white edge is at this uh, middle layer, this equator, then we only need one rotation, like this. Move it to the top, white facing up, and then align the center. Note that if you rotate the other way, the white is not facing up. So think about which way to turn. And here's a hint. If the white is facing you, then you can turn it naturally. If white is facing bottom, then it's also trivial. If white is facing sideways, and if it is not at this equator, then we do two rotations. We move this piece to the middle, like this, so that we can move it to the top. If there are solved edges at the top, it's time to think. For example, um, this red edge is solved. And if we want to solve this orange edge, we cannot simply move up right away because you see that uh, these colors do not connect. So this piece is not solved. However, if we want to uh, align this orange to its center, then we break this red edge. It's not solved now. Think of the top layer as a carousel with four seats. When it turns, all seats rotate together, so their relative positions remain the same. For example, the orange seat is always at the opposite side of the red seat. Here, red is solved, and we're going to solve this orange edge. An orange center is here, so this edge should go to this position. So we turn the seat, the position, to this entrance, because we're going to move this edge up to occupy the seat and then align the center again. 
So here, not only red is still solved, this orange is in the correct position as well. So now you have solved another edge. Keep doing this until four, all four white edges are solved at the top. Here's another example. We want to solve this blue-white edge. And uh, blue center is here, so the edge should go to this position. And note that um, if we want to move this edge to the top, we do two rotations. First is to move this piece to the center and then move it up. So the position is here. So we move this seat, the destination, to here. So that we can move this edge with two rotations. One, two, to the top, to this correct position. But know that during the movement, you actually break this edge. So you need to recover it back. And then align it. So now they are solved. After all four edges are solved, you should see a white cross on the top. Now it's time to solve three out of the four corners, these four, and any three will be fine. During this phase, imagine you are using a net to scoop fish. You put the net down, let the fish swim into it, and then pick it up. Let's find a white corner piece and the position it belongs to. For example, this white corner, here is red and blue, so the position should be here between the red edge and the blue edge, it should be here. So we put the position down, let the corner swim into it, and then pick it up. You may be wondering that if white corner is here, and the position it belongs to is here, should I put down the position this way, or this way? So here's a hint. Look at the white facing. It's at the right side of the cube. So no matter how it turns, it's always at the right side of the cube. And also when you put down the position and let the edge swim in, these two whites should connect. You might be struggling with these cases. I will quickly go through them, but it's better for you to think on your own. If the piece is under this position, when you put down the position, you will see this edge away. So, let this edge step aside and then put down the position. However, if white is facing down, you actually want to scare it away deliberately so that now this white is facing side away. Step aside and recover this position. Now you can solve this. If the corner that is unsolved is at the top, is facing the wrong direction, or is in the wrong position, it should go here, put it down, release the fish, and then recover. And then you can solve it. This phase ends after three corners are solved. Any three will be fine. Now turn the cube upside down, let the white is facing down, that the yellow facing up, and position your cube so that this unsolved corner is at your front right. If all corners happen to be solved, that's cool too. Just pick a random corner at your front right. We will use this position as a buffer in the next phase.